Hi my friends, I'm going to show you how to practice these stitches. Um, one way is, um, for example, I wrote, I've written my name with um, different uh, ones um, and different thickness so you can, you can see the difference and then you can choose which one you, you feel more confident with. Um, also, um, this is chain stitch. I went to the garden, I saw, I believe, and then I trace it there. You can use a normal pencil, um, HB um, it would be fine. Just bear in mind that it might not disappear. So if you are stitching on top of that, it's fine. But if you don't want any a pen to show, it's better to use a chalk pen. Um, it will go very, very easy. So let's see this one. So I'm going to make this one with um, chain stitch. And I'm going to try this one with um, satin stitch, which is this one. Now, firstly, I do my... You can do this directly with your leaf, or you can make it um, in a in a piece of in a piece of paper, and then you can cut it down. It's it's really up to you. Um, so like that. In this case, I went around and around in chain stitch. Um, now I am going to experiment using. See the different lines of the the leaves got so I'm going to use them here trying to copy them a bit uh, there there is another one there and here you can see very tiny ones as well um, it depends on what do you want and how do you want it but let's see that way um, so I have it there I'm going to use this stitch satin stitch and I'm going to put my embroidery hope okay don't like not uh, but feel free to make a knot and just do it there um, as you can see it's very very nice and beautiful because it hasn't got any knots on that um, the way as I start is um from top you make very tiny stitches and then there you haven't got a knot so just very much just pass it there in order to make it to disappear in front it is here at the back see okay now i just start um doing the stitches so um because i'm using this as a reference i want to check uh the different uh oh can you see the different uh, directions that the leaf is called so um i could either mark go around with that but I'm, what I'm going to do is just doing little stitches there so I'm going to go all the way there from here to there okay and then let's see what happens As you can see here, I went all the way there, ding, 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 and then I came back in the same stream. So now I am using this one as a center, and I'm going, I'm going there, 
going to go all the way here and then I'm going to go back there okay and in the middle now as you can see you've been trying to do it um, satin stitch all along um, it's a really good way to practice the, the stitches and um, to learn how to to feel comfortable with the needle and thread and to learn which one which the thickness of the of the threads and you know just getting more confident and then you can decide better for your projects can see my thread is finishing here and um, because I don't want any knots at the back so what I'm going to do this look at the back see uh, so you hide the thread just bear in mind you don't you won't spoil you will see a bit the needle here but because it's in color it doesn't matter much then you pass it then if you still have a bit more you go back okay, I'm going to start with a, a new thread so I'm going to start there um, well I can go from the, from, from the back just go there a bit bear in mind uh, not to show anything on the other side. And then, and then go back. Not exactly in the same place because otherwise it will undo. Okay, don't don't push it too much. Then we are going to start again, and then keep going. I'm going to go all the way there, and then back. Again, and then here and I'll show you later you can see I've um, finished the, the whole thing um, I can get ideas from here let's say if I can if I want to make it um, you know give it a good finish I could um, combine with a different stitch so I will say I am going to go around with um, chain stitch just to s emulate the edges here and then maybe inside and let's see how it goes okay I'm going to do chain stitch parts I'm sorry not chain um, stem And it's going to give a bit of a three-dimensional uh, effect see the difference between this one and this one okay I'm going to go all along okay so I went around and as you can see the the finish is much neat night much better it looks more beautiful um, I am you're going to use a bit lighter color to mark these lines just to give it a bit more uh, like a reality feel if feel of uh, so again I'm going to start from the back go there mm, sorry there and I'm coming back more or almost in the same place to the end Uh, 
and I'm going to do same stitch along along there. I did that and let's go to the leaf again I'm going to use little ones um, so let's do a single one from here to there another one here to there Um, and then I'm going on top and do the same with the others. So um, now I'm finishing there. You can see more or less um, the difference and how important is the finish to make it to look more make it look more real um, that's it look this is the back this is the front two different ways this is more realistic uh, this is just to practice and